Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. <laughs> How are you tonight? I'm well, teacher. You're doing good. Yeah. Okay. It's awesome. It's really, really, really good. Today is Thursday. October yeah. 27th. There's the October 27th. And so for four more days, we're in November and then 60 days and we're done with 2022. Wow. Time flies really quick. Yes. Did you work today? I'm where I'm, I'm work. You did? Yes. Yes. Uh, today for me is close of the month. You're closing the month today. Oh my yes. god. Yes. It's a lot of work, I guess. You're in accounting, right, Carlita? Administrative. Administration, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you manufacture anything? No. What is no. it about? Is it logistics or? No, I am um, general administrative and I serve all relative to a customer invoice, vendor invoice, payment, and legal legal support, le legal support people legal support, support and in support to all areas. To the all, all areas. Areas. Yeah. Areas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so what does the company do? Communication and what and Ericsson in installation to system for systems systems installation system installation for for all all operate for for all operate for Ericsson oh. have have you need three customer and telefonica claro and digicels no oh. more. and, and uh, because uh, Ericsson is sell sell vende sell, sells sell, uh -huh. sells a project for ex, expansion to the network for the mobile and fixed line and internet too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, to have a project with Fabus. Fabus they, they also they also have a project. They also have a project with Facebook. Mm -hmm. They also have a project with, with Facebook. Mm. Wow. I, I mm -hmm. so Michelle used to work with you. Mm, sorry? Did, no, wait, it wasn't Michelle. Did, did you have a, a co-worker taking English classes? Ra Raquel Raquel Hernandez in a in uh -huh. Raquel I know, Hernandez but I, I remember Huh? She was a regional, yes. regional something. Mm. Can't remember. Yeah, I think that's that's her. Raquel Hernandez. Yes, she was in the first module with you. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I had the notion that Ericsson has many branches and. 
there's El Salvador and then I think Nicaragua or I can't remember. Yes, it's 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 multinational. <laughs> it's a multinational. But the uh -huh, but well, the main uh, office is at Sweden. Is in Sweden. In Sweden, yeah. the headquarters. Yeah. That's the headquarters, man. It's gonna be nice to work for an international company a, a big company yeah. wow it's gonna be very interesting okay guys uh, carla um what would you do if let's say that you are you know you're coming up ericsson is coming with a new uh, a new cell phones line and let's say claro wants to have the privilege of only them selling this this module of 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 Ericsson cell phones, would you accept money? If Claro will go like, you know what? I'm gonna give you five hundred thousand dollars if you give me this line of cell phones. Would you accept that money? No. Why? Uh, we don't. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we don't have any. Uh, privileges How privileges privileges wait you don't have any privileges or you don't give any no. privilege uh, in general don't, don't we have privilege Be, because is we ha ericsson have um has, has eh, como puedo decir tiene bien marcado los temas de compliance they're like, very they're very careful with the compliance um defined topics picture. they have very defined yeah they're very uh, strict they're very strict yes it's very strict with the compliance topic or terms, compliance terms, terms. yeah compliance on, on the terms. contract mm -hmm. yes and we but but let's say it. let's say let's say that you know that legally there was a gap, you know, would you accept the money? No. Why? <laughs> Nobody's no. gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> no. no. No, it's complicated. No. What? What stops you from taking five hundred thousand dollars? It's half a million. It's half a million dollars. What stops you? If you know, if if I come from the future and I tell you, Carla nobody is going to know i come from the future you just became rich and and you you were smart you didn't spend the money you just took money little by little you know from that saving you wouldn't do it no no why <laughs> i think is because we have um, a good benefit by Ericsson for her employees. Okay, the, so wait, the, so you are loyal to your company? Yeah, yes. How do you call that? In general, when an employee is so conscious, so conscious that of things Carla that are good has, and bad. Um, Carla has values, teacher. Values. In general, you call these values ethics. Integrity. Ethics. For me, yeah. it's, uh, yes, ethic, <laughs> but specific integrity. Actually, uh, in integrity. Yeah, I know. I was just playing with Carla. <laughs> I know. I mean, you would never do that. I mean, it's a big company. You will be in big trouble. The bigger the company, the bigger the trouble if you do something wrong, like that. And we will talk about that tonight. Uh, tonight's class is to discuss ethics in management. Discuss ethics in management. Why management and not regular employees, right? We will see that. We will see that. Let me do the attendance first. It's 8, 11 already. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Adriana, Adriana, Adriana is not here tonight again. Okay. Um, 
Anacelmi Cheves. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Excelente. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Not here yet. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Pamela is down here. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. And here, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. I think I got it. <laughs> the microphone. Okay. I am sorry, present. <laughs> Thank you, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good evening. Hey, welcome. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's there. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay. So how do we start this class? Um, let's talk about your life experience. You know, ethics is a very extensive topic, I will say. It's a little bit complex depending on the on the, um, how do we call this, line of business where you work. Because if you work, and, and let's pretend that everybody here is a manager, okay? You don't, you are not on the first line of, of production or the first line of service of the company. Let's pretend that you are managers, okay? From that perspective, no matter the company that you are on, you have some power. You have some power. And it's not a joke, but big powers carry along big responsibilities, right, Spider-Man? Yes, it is true. And I'm telling you by experience, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy. You, you may think, you know, I don't know if you have felt jealous of someone ever in your life, like, Mira esta gerente back. Oh my God. Right. I'm very, right. Yeah, but do you think it's easy? No, it's not easy. It's a big responsibility. And as I was saying, the bigger the company, the bigger the responsibility that you're acquiring. You're acquiring big responsibilities. So why is it difficult to be a manager? I want to open this class with thoughts okay let's let's understand first what is a managerial position in general terms what is a managerial position and how difficult is it if you have the experience just express it okay so let's see what are managerials oh my god managerial Positions. Um, is it difficult? To have a managerial position? Okay, so I just want to open the class with, with these two basic questions. What are managerial positions? And is it difficult to have a managerial position? I mean, what are the pros, the cons? Have you heard that? Pros and cons? What are sure. the pros and cons? Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I, I don't know if I, I understand well the question that um, talking about manager management, uh -huh. for example, yeah, when you are a top banana in your company, <laughs> uh, it I guess that it is so hard 
when you have to take some decision, for example, when you have you have to, to you have to make an attrition, for example, or you have to to reduce uh, money, for example. To reduce I guess, reduce workforce. Yes. Yeah. To let go somebody. workforce. To let go people. Mm -hmm. Then I guess that it is it is I I I I I can imagine that it is good. maybe will be so difficult for, uh, for for example for me because it is it is uh, so bad when we have to talk to the people that I'm so sorry but you this is your your last day in the company for example. Okay, that is exactly what I need you to talk about. But let's define what is a managerial position first in the group, in the group. Don't worry. Uh, what I want you is to think together, you know, and try to come up with a concept of managerial position. And then do what Wilfredo is doing. Okay, you know what? I am a manager or I was a manager. And the difficult thing about it is, or in my opinion, in my experience, it's horrible. In my experience, it's awesome. Whatever you want to say, but talk to your classmates. Define, okay? Define, number one, what is a managerial position? And what are the pros and cons of being a manager? Because there are, there are good things as well. There's one good thing specifically. So let's talk in groups and then I will ask each group. Shall we? Shall we dance? Okay, let's dance. I got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Please don't stay in this room, accept the invitation. Let's go. Teacher, hey, uh, could you please send another uh, okay, please the the yeah right now the, I'm doing uh, it yes because I I don't know what what I did with, with my cell phone oh oh you mean the invitation hold on okay le voy a enviar dos invitaciones no acepte la primera okay okay don't worry let me see. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. Okay, okay. Join, join the group and, and then it's okay. Okay, teacher, thanks. <laughs> okay, hi teacher. So you're making a custom for Yes, I, no, it's, um, I'm making a candy. Candy because custom. Because my, yes, my customer is, um, is a dolly. How do you say, muñeca? Doll? Yeah. Uh, rich? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am a doll. <laughs> okay. Sounds interesting. <laughs> I show okay. you a picture tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, show you a picture okay. tomorrow. All right, let's discuss the question. Yes. For me, I don't know how to handle if if I will, if I be a manager, but something that I know, it's that my boss, he has his company. He's the owner of the company. And every time when he calls the manager of the company, I, I I always, he always, and she or, or he always asks about uncomfortable questions like, what do you do with this money? Or what do you took this, that decision? And, and I was, and I was like, oh my God, that was uh, difficult questions. Like, because I don't want to be in his shoes, you know? And, and, and I, if I was him, I, I, I don't know where I could answer, 
So there, there, uh, they have to answer those questions because the owner of the company is asking him, and he needs to know what wh what the what answer is going to give to to the owner because um you know he the owner is not going to ask her to the secretary or to another uh, co-worker. He's going directly to the manager. He's always, uh, the, if, if there is a problem on, the, in some, on another area, he, the owner is not going to ask it to that area specifically. He's going he's straight to the manager. So, and that means that to be a manager is a big responsibility. Like, and sometimes uh, those responsibilities, those, those responsibility, no, no one can take it. Like if I, in my case, I couldn't do it because I, I don't think so that I, I don't have that, that intense, the intensity to respond to those questions. Like you have to be prepared at the, at the time the uh, troubles coming soon, you know? I agree with you, Edwin. I think uh, it's a position very difficult. Uh, if you, if you, I'm sorry, I have a very music here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Where? <laughs> a neighborhood listening music. Are your neighbor <laughs> is listening to music loud? Yes. Okay. In your bike. Ah. In your bike have, a, have music. Oh, I understand. Okay. 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 I think it's very difficult. It's very mm -hmm. interesting, important, but have uh, many responsibility. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, it's not only the pay. It's not only the pay. Uh, if, if I don't know how to say, it. when a person create a good reputation, mm -hmm. I think it's important because other companies hear about you. And I think it's, it's I think it's good. I think it's good for that. It's a, it's a pro. And um, I think too, you have a, um, very responsibility, a huge responsibility. A huge responsibility, exactly. In, in many, in many co-workers think that to be a manager is is a, is an is nice because the salary, you know. Yes. Uh, he's the, uh, yeah, he's the manager, and he he won he wins a lot of money, but they don't think about the the responsibility to is to take to take care of of. Of and, a company, especially if it's a big corporation or or whatever, you know. Yes, mm -hmm. decision. All decision. This manager have a impact in the people. Exactly. The, Every the, decision. The this is I, a I, cons. This is a cons. <laughs> I think that there are more more. Um, more cons that pros. <laughs> more? No, but I more more pros that cons. <laughs> it, it's similar but, or the other or the other level in in, yes. in all charge. There is more or there are of the pros company and cons. Yeah. In the, yeah. Yes. Yes, but yes, it's a difficult. It's it's, it's difficult. Sometimes I, I say that uh, the teacher he's going to be manager. Oh my god! He, <laughs> and you don't understand, but <laughs> it's so I don't know. It's so we need to understand that uh, things happen. <laughs> And okay, Kenya, what do you think? 
Well, in my personal opinion, it's like um, they have, as you mentioned before, a high level of responsibility because they need to um, take, you know, like responsibility over mm -hmm. other actions. Um, I mean, like, you know, they are team actions. Um, for yeah. example, if there is like a kind of, um, like a kind of uh, fraudulent action, yeah. Um, the, yeah, the boss is the one that is taking ownership about that as well. Um, and they need to take, uh, they need to take like, you know, some kind of decisions and do you see like what it's going to be the next thing that they will do in the order action. to improve that. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't happen again. So it's like at the same time that they are having responsibility, they are trying to to keep, you know, the performance uh, goals exactly. in their team and improve like um, the management level, all that, I guess. Um, so it's really hard for them. <laughs> yes, because the manager is responsible of the performance mm -hmm. of the team. Of the team, right. The, feed, the good feedback, because mm -hmm. it's very important to is that the team, um, the team feel the not only the responsible, but is include <laughs> include that. Yeah, but they have they have to make schedules. They have exactly. To, um, oh, also policy policies. They 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 have he he or she it depends needs to needs to make policies about yeah but the good the good feedback is very important because um to improve to improve when you receive a good feedback the the team the work team grow yes yes communication is yes. communication is oh my god is is the key exactly yeah is is the key is there is in communication <laughs> mm -hmm. it, the honest communication the effective communication effective the, the, yes the, is very important because um the cre cre creative is right teacher credibilidad how do you say in english Credibility. 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 When, when the, the manager say yes, it's yes. And no, <laughs> it's not in, in authority. Is the, the, how do you say, the maintain his or her word is very important very important for the level of the confidence don't, don't move from your your opinion decision Be, yes that's the that's the reason because i tell to my to my boss oh, for example the father. manager <laughs> say ah, in the, the next month we we will get the uh bonus for example or day off in the next month when happening. Yeah. Nope. Is, <laughs> no? Nope. The, the, Forget it. <laughs> say English credibility. Credibility. Credibility, yes. Credibility. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the credibility. Down. Yeah. You are a liar. <laughs> no, only the liar that is, that is the, the, it is um, the, the I trust, say, maybe? Yes, the trust, lost, lost yeah. the trust is, yeah. in my opinion, is complicated. And the similar, the old relationship, yes. The yes. credibility yeah. is very important. Maybe the, the authority, maybe. Yeah, the authority, the authority, but the similar level of the responsible. Yeah. Not only the authority when the 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 result is uh, aren't good. Ah, the 
Donna Kiev. I get that it is interesting, interesting uh, activity that, that manager has managers have to do. For example, if the um, the goal, for example, didn't achieve, they have to explain why the goals um, no se cumplieron. How do you say in English? Didn't achieve. Were not reached. If goals Reach? were not reached. Were not reached. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Then, in, a com in many companies, it's common talk about action plan. You have to explain what are you going to do to, to get it. I get, but I, 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 I think, but I don't know, Nelson. Uh, if you can talk about it or yes. say um, mm -hmm. I think the the responsible responsible is big but uh, I remember uh, 10 years ago I have yes. I have the the job in the department in the in the cell, the cover of teacher, what is say? Sorry, covers. Um, accounts pay the, the accounts payable, huh? Accounts payable, payable. Oh, accounts payable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I I have two year in the uh, in the bar and the in the job. No, and the and the and the boss, um, uh, my responsibility is ten people, and I had a organizer um, each one the work all day, in the morning I um, the morning give the order. The world, or world, yes. It, uh, later, uh, five five p.m. six p.m. I receive all the all the the work in the day. Is one, uh, and the, the 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 job, no, the people is go is is go go out uh, five six p.m. But me. Uh, I have the report uh, 10 p.m. is a go my house is difficult it's more difficult in the in the cons but the time is is more no not time but it but the, uh, my myself uh, uh, in the time no time but my but the family is difficult and all all time the people I call in for for cell phone or responsible uh, you know, give the email or or WhatsApp message is all time is very very interesting interesting the in the position but it's hard hard work for me I but think. when you received your payment you forgot all this uh, this <laughs> this situation also <laughs> yes uh, uh, <laughs> i pay more more good but uh, the time is difficult It is so hard because sometimes we don't have enough time to to the family. And I I, I remember two months ago, and my wife told me, "Hey, I, I was calling you, but you didn't answer me. And I was very busy. I just finished a meeting. And then I I need to solve many situation in my job, but I text by chat." <laughs> Menos me van ganas de decir que tenía tiempo. 
Pero, but it is occupational hazard, Nelson. Then I yes. I guess that when we have a, another position, if it is up um, más arriba, teacher, how do you say in English? When you talk about, for example, in a, in a um, let me see. El, a, a greater según, position. Greater. A, gra a greater position. Mm -hmm. Greater position. Gra greater. Uh, greater. Um, mm -hmm. so, so, it's a comparative. Um, yes. A greater position. Um, okay. But when you get, if it is, um, for example, uh, we can say I, I want to be in, in, a, in a best position. In a better but, position. In a better, in a better position. But maybe you have to do another activity or you have to work more time or many, many responsibilities. But the, it is, it is common when you get um, other other position in your company. Teacher, hmm? I, I have a I, I have a question. I, 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 may I say other or another position? Other positions, another position. Other position, another I'm sorry, other positions. Uh, explorer. Mm -hmm. Another position. Other, another. Uh, uh, yeah, um, other, plural, yes. another, singular. Yes. Um, um, okay. Que un día de estos me regañaron. Porque yo puse another, another level. <laughs> When we finish the, 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 the level number one. Así no se escribe, me pusieron. Bueno. <laughs> okay, and, and Ada, Ada Patricia. Okay, for me, it is difficult to have a managerial position. And well, the responsibilities are many and according to the position you have in the company. <laughs> the responsibility is the great. Yes. Also, uh, the advantage is the salaries position sometimes it is great <laughs> yes <laughs> but but the cons is the schedule <laughs> yes when you have money managerial position when you have a managerial when you have managerial position you earn a lot of money, but uh, it's slave the company. <laughs> yes, 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 it's true. Magneto. No, 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 no. I'm trying to remember Ray Conniff. <laughs> Rosalind is like, what? Yeah, it, it, I think it's, there was a song. Um, and I Did just, you say trumpetista? Yeah, yeah, he's a trumpetist. 
trumpets. He plays yes. the trumpet, he, yes. He was. He was trumpet. He was. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Teacher. Yeah, Brazil. Have you heard? Hey, uh -huh. Have you heard about heard? Paul McCartney? Of course. Have you heard about what? No. Really? No. What happened? Did you? What What uh, happened to Paul? Have you heard? Hear? No. I, I'm smelling bad, bad news. What What's going on with Paul, Paul McCartney? I heard Paul McCartney. Yes. No more lonely my, nights. My... He, my, my, my daddy sing and play with him. What? Your daughter sang yes. and played with Paul McCartney. Yes. What? He, really? My, my, my daddy, my daddy went to, to, to sing a happy birthday to him. Wait, oh, your dad. The Paul McCartney. Yes, daddy. My dad. Yes. I, I I heard him saying my daughter. Dad, I was no, like, what? No, 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 no. Your, your, dad. Dad. The, your daddy. The, his, his daughter is singer and his son is uh, he play plays guitar, yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. But in this Both case he's, he's talking about his dad. You, your dad yeah. he, yes. he went where where did that happen? <laughs> Yeah, but, but uh, I, I remember um, five or, or six years ago, he told me that he, he went to, to play and sing and sing and happy birthday to him. And then he, um, my dad told me that Paul McCartney told him, may I, may I play la, la trompeta? The trumpet? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they start to, to sing and play together. Wow. So cool. Did he take any pictures? Yes. Wow. You should show us a picture one of these days. They will be great. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I mean, man, you were scaring me because you were asking me, did you hear about Paul McCartney? And I was like, no, because I, I'm like, what happened? He died. Uh huh. I'm <laughs> expecting. You know what? Since 2016, well, 2017, I'm expect. I'm expectant. When when George Michael passed away, you know who who was George Michael, right? Yes. When he passed away, I didn't. I didn't notice. I didn't know that he had passed away until next year, until 2017, and I cried. I cried when he died. I mean, when I realized that he had died. Because really, I, teacher. I wasn't here. I wasn't here in my and house. For Michael Jackson, too. No. Eh, <laughs> nah, not that much. No. Not that much. I mean, I felt sad. I cried when when um, Gustavo Cerati passed away, which was very shocking because he went on a coma. We had to wait. Yeah. I, I was planning to go to Argentina, I swear. <laughs> But I was poor. So anyways, I'm still poor. So, man, but it's just that you grow up. You grow up with some artists, you know. Um, I will cry again whenever. Oh, I cried when Chantem died. I mean, I was like, man, it's so sad. For Chantem too, teacher? Yes, of course. I mean, not that, not like, uh, no, but I mean, man, it's so sad. And I saw it. Juan Gabriel too? No. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I'm just expecting Paul uh, to pass away. He's really old. He's very old now. And uh, yes, he's a le uh, legend. He's a legend, and yeah. I'm expecting um, Eddie Vedder too. You know, I'm concerned about Eddie Vedder. I cried when Chris Cornell passed away. I'm always crying, you know, because it's... what? Sorry, Susana, she got stuck. Oh my God! What are you doing? What? what? I... When died, Jose Nora, where are ah, come on. You know what? You know what? I, I fought, I, I fought, I fought with Jose, with Jose, one of Jose Lora's sons. 
we were in the same school and when I was in, in bachillerato, I fought with him. <laughs> he actually he actually uh, ruined my nose because I, I have my nose is plain here. My nose is plain. So he hit me with his forehead on my nose. Man, oh my that, that guy was my God. Yeah, I fought with him. And they, they took him off the school. They took him off the school because he fought with me. Man, it was a great time. Okay, enough talking about artists. Something that I will recommend you. I want to recommend you something. And I, I, I by, by mere casualty, by mere casualty. Can somebody write this on the Zoom chat? By mere casualty, can you write it on the Zoom chat if you understand? So by mere casualty, I have a video in front of me because I was I I'm expecting to show you a video about managerial things and stuff like that. Mere. <laughs> uh huh. By mere casualty. Mere. 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 That? That's M E R E. I think. I have a a video of Stevie Wonder and this guy, uh, what's his name? James Corden. James Corden has this sketch, this um, this yeah, this sketch of of inviting you know some artists, some singers. Driving. Uh huh. Yeah. And they do karaoke driving. So he yeah. invited Stevie Wonder once. Oh. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> because Stevie Wonder is very is very funny, you know. He's always making jokes about himself mm -hmm. and his condition. You know who's Stevie Wonder, right? Isn't she beautiful? Da -da 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 -da. Man, I don't have enough. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'll I'll send you the link, the link, uh, so you can understand. This is important because um, James Gordon Gordon has um, British accent, a little bit of a British accent, and Stevie Wonder is American, so you have to compare their way of speaking. Okay, show me what you got. What is a managerial position? I'm gonna go with group. Number three. Hmm. Group number three, Ada, Nelson, or Wilfredo. Just one of you guys, if you can give us the explanation of what is a managerial position. Okay, we were talking with Nelson and, and Ada that managerial position is a Yes, uh, an important position in, uh, in some company, and then and it is it is a, a, a let me let me see it is a, a special position because uh, they always they are they they have to take an important decision about the company and then they have to some responsibility and they have to do many activities and talking about their their job or their their task then talking about pro and cons pros and cons mm -hmm. pros and cons and the pros could be a good salary and good position and uh, you have to to try with important people around the company and cons could be so stressful and and they have they have uh, many responsibility they they have to sometime uh, could be they 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 don't have enough time for for the to do another activity out the job and Nelson and Ada could you help me please 
because just, I don't just, remember. Just before. <laughs> great job, yeah, great okay. job, Wilfredo. Uh, just one thing before we move on with Nelson. Okay. Try, you have to try with important people. You deal, you deal with people. You have to deal, deal. with important people. You have to deal, deal with important deal. Um, okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I, I don't remember on, about this word. Yeah, it's on the Zoom chat. Uh, many okay. responsibility. An area of improvement that we may have is many and much, as other and another. You were asking me, right? Other, <laughs> yes. other for plurals and another for singulars. Many responsibility. Many is for plurals, so many responsibilities or much, or much. responsibility. Uh, Uncountable. Okay. Remember uncountable? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's much. So uncountable. if I if I say time, if I say time, Wilfredo, will it be many time or much time? Much. Much time. And if I say times, I got confused. <laughs> much time. I don't have. Uh, for example, if for example, I I I, I want to say. I no tengo tiempo suficiente. I don't have enough. Or, huh. I don't have enough time, but that's different. Many times I've been around, many times I lied. Still remember the bills. I can remember the song. Okay. No. Yeah, I will remember. Okay. I will remember okay. later, man. I'm sorry. That's the way I learn English, guys. It's just the song, the names. I'm sorry. The words are on my head and then a song comes up. Okay. Nelson, continue. Where the manual position are words where, where person oversee in the job or people or, or function in in the specific specific uh, function in the in the in the company yes um but uh, i think the the one or the the post is that personally he he goes to another level um, and richard in the person and Richard a girl and the girl and yes and the cons I think but there are there is a, the the price to pay uh, um, can can be at the time goes to be sure be be sure. Mm -hmm. um, you you got me lost with the, the part the, the vision the vision. No, no, in, in, in the in the price it to pay, but the position is can be the time God's uh, or occupation. What you're trying to say is that it's difficult to manage your time between your job and your family. Yeah, yeah. That's the price that you pay on, on yes. a higher position. Excellent. Yes, it's true. Totally. I agree with you. Thank you. Select someone else, Nelson. Say group one or group two. What do you think? Number one. Okay. Edwin, Carla, Sandra, and Susana. And then Carla, Sandra, and Susana. Guys, please turn on your cameras. Come on. We talking about uh, with this topic the um, the pro and how do you say cons? The pros and cons. The pros and cons uh, to be a manager in a big company. Mm -hmm. You have uh, many benefits. Like page, uh, uh, other benefits, other. Uh, but you, your decisions have a huge impact in the customers and the employees. You could be a 
uh, have a, a good reputation and you can lose this because of that decision. Hmm. You understand me? Totally. I'll tell you in Spanish. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Don't do that. You make me feel like like if I was in the United States for some reason and then I'm talking in Spanglish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, Susana. Okay. We 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 talking about hey, we were talking about in past, right? Past continuous. We were talking about. We were talking uh, about. I would hablando. like to agree. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Edwin, totally. You're next. Give me just a minute. You have a uh, many benefit. You have many benefits. You have many benefits. Okay. Pronunciation. Co customers now. Cos customers. Customers. Custom. Customers. Customers. Mm -hmm. Excellent. we we were talking. We're talking about. We were talking about. Edwin, one, two, three, go. Okay, thank you. Um, we we are discussing about what is man ma managing. Start again. Start again. Start again. Uh huh. That we were we were uh talking. Uh, speaking. Yeah, yeah, talking about. We're talking about um what is and what uh ma what is uh manager positions. And we, we said the uh, manager positions are roles that where the where a person oversees um, a job functions of another person or, or, or a group of people also may oversee the operation of a specific uh, function with the with the, the uh, a company uh, for example. Uh, accounting manager lead a team of six people, and and where's uh, the production and in everything this all right. So the process of uh, to help people and take their responsibility of, of being a, a, a manager is for for we were we were discussing about there is a big responsibility. To have a um, disposition, no, because he, he the manager took uh, uh, big decisions. They, they can affect the company, and they they can um, or, or maybe they can take advantage to 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 receive uh, of this. But uh, I think uh, managers not only have uh, to um, to to take this responsibilities. You know, it has operations or in projects or financial financial they need they need to give the facilities to the workers to to work better and he needs to work together with human resources the um uh, for the recruitment things and how to to get how to hire good people for the company and in, in, in everything, you know, uh, to be a manager for me, for me is a, a big responsibility. And, is, and, for other, and for others, maybe people think that it's a good salary and good, uh, but the salary is nothing about the responsibility the manager has to take. So, mm -hmm. man, have you read any book? Uh, not really, but... <laughs> you, you just, I mean, you were right. It was very assertive yeah. on many, many aspects that we're about to talk. Great. Thank you, Edwin. Let's, let's look okay. at some, some few things. You say managerial positions. Is, is that management positions uh, in general? Yeah, you could say that, but that, will, that may be informal. Uh, the right way of saying it is the managerial positions that we have available. Okay. Managerial positions are okay. pronunciation, function, 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 shin. Say shin. Function. Function. Uh -huh. function. Function. There mm -hmm. you go. Don't say shun. Say shin. Function. Mm -hmm. Shun shin meng huang in <laughs> yi meng hao. Okay. Function, 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 function. There you go. There you go. The same with production. 
production. There yeah. you go, production, production. Okay, the manager took hmm, big decisions. The manager takes big takes. decisions. You're, you're pluralizing, you're just explaining oh. something, right? So mm -hmm. the manager takes big decisions. Managers, hey, not only have to take big decisions, but also, but also they uh -huh. have to, ta -da -da -da. pronunciation, think, think, uh, think, 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 think. Ok, para corregir esto súper rápido, lo único que tenés que hacer es practicar con palabras que empiecen con TH y suenen a... Like thunder, 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 thundercats, right? Now, ¿cómo sabes que lo estás haciendo bien? Pones la mano enfrente de tu boca, ok? Y sacas un poquito la lengua. Si sentís el aire en la mano, lo estás haciendo bien. Simple, ok? Es una seta. Think. There you go. Think about it. Come on, repeat. Think about it. Think about it. I thought. I, I thought, 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 I thought you were. Oh, come on, man. This is your area of improvement. You can kill it today. Say right, thought, yeah. thought, thought. I thought you were my friend. But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, repeat. I thought you I were my friend. You were my friend. I man, I thought you were my friend. Man, I thought you were my friend. Why did you lie to me? I thought, I thought, thought. Mm. Everybody, TH is a Z. It's a Z, okay? Think about it. Think, think, think. Okay, before we go with last group, really quick. Hola, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Ok. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Ok. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Ok. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. ¿Qué pasa? Ah, Presente. ¿Qué, le, ¿qué le pasa a tu mamá o qué pasa? Va. Guys, I have a little emergency. Can you wait for me just 30 seconds, please? Of course, teacher, go ahead. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. 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 Teacher, take go ahead, okay. teacher. Go ahead, teacher. Emergency is emergency. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is. In the field, yes, in the yes. family. The family. <laughs> Some, uh, some about you make the the homework. The homework or the the activity of the platform. The platform. Susie. The platform. The platform. Yeah, for we who finish the platform. <laughs> Roselena Did you finish, Susana? No. Did you finish? No. We make three. Two. I'm missing two. We make only three. I'm a very, very attractive. 
Estoy atrasado. How do you say estoy atrasado? Delay. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yes, me too. Wow. Hagamos las tareas ahorita juntos. <risa> Comparta la plataforma, pues, y la vamos a hacer. <risa> no tengo la máquina. Ay. But that activity is not easier. I'm so sorry, guys. De verdad que lo siento. Is all okay, teacher? No, le agarró el yeyo a Max por segunda vez. ¿Qué es yeyo? Así me dijo mi hijo. La... Ah. Agarró el yeyo a Max. Ojos dilatados, eh, tirado en el suelo y como un ataque, ataque de epilepsia. Entonces, uh -huh. y, y eso es bien raro que le ocurra. Es segunda vez que le, le ocurre, pero ya el domingo tiene consulta. Y no por eso, sino por otra cosa. Pero Who is Max, teacher? Mi cuarto hijo, el, el Hosky. Ah. Entonces, mi, hijo, mi hijo vino, mi hijo vino ahorita oh, corriendo, preocupado y que mira, mira, ya que se tiró al suelo, está temblando. Pero yo creo que fue porque comió sardina ahora, mucho tomate. Sardina, teacher. Uh -huh. Y con arroz y, y su semilla. Ay, pero. It's teacher. difficult to have another song like that. Yeah. <laughs> my 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 blackie it is the name of my of my 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 dog um I, uh, two two months ago i remember my 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 oldest son son yeah uh, called me hey dad what happened uh, me la temblorina. Pero, sure. pero a saber si será por 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 no sé comida o algo. Le dieron que, azúcar de seguro. de seguro. A Max le pasó eso la primera vez porque le dimos la mitad de una dona glaseada y la mitad de una peperecha y no nos acordábamos y de repente solo puso la cara así, ¡pum! <ríe> al suelo. Lo chistoso, ríanse un rato, lo chistoso es que me dice mi suegra, échale aire y vengo yo que le agarro el hocico en la nariz <ríe> y el perro hasta se, hasta se enojó. <ríe> me dijo, <ríe> Ay, tiene no, yo no sabía qué hacer, no cabía, no, no, no me puse así a gritar ni nada, pero si no, no, no sabía cómo reaccionar, le empujaba las costillas, nada, es de dejarlos, ellos solo reaccionan, y aprendí, so, everything is okay, don't worry, and sorry to bother you with that, but, what is the name, Checho, 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 no, I don't know, my son, my son just told me, le di el Checho again, Checho, what, uh-huh, <laughs> Uh, I, my, 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 my daughter had a study in a veterinary in the five year. Yes, she's, I, she's on her in, fifth year. Five year. <gasps> wow. Yes, yes. I question in the moment, and I say, and you, your pets have, in, in the say that it just checks in the veterinary, the medical, but a, a diagnostic, they check it, that frequency is how the in the in the in the action mm -hmm. in, in give the medicam um, anti anti para anti anticoagulante well, or no 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 um, parasitante uh, no 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 uh, anti cómo se llama lo que como que cayó que le agarró antiepiléptico. Epiléptico. Ah, no, no, no. No, primero Dios no es eso, no. Es no. simplemente cuando sus niveles de azúcar se elevan mucho, le da a estos perros, o a la mayoría de perros, de hecho, le da una, un subidón de azúcar, o sea, es un sugar rush. Se le sube el azúcar, le da un ataque leve de epilepsia, pero sí, es, es, es peligroso, es peligroso. Y pues ahorita los cuatro estaban ahí encima de él viendo qué le pasaba y todo. Tiene que, tiene que chequearle, dice, hacer un diagnóstico. Sí, el, do, el domingo, el domingo, vamos a ver, no, pero sus niveles de, de azúcar y todo están bien. O sea, si hace dos semanas le tomaron sangre, porque lo tengo en controles y ya le tocan las vacunas en un solo rollo. Anyways, ok. Ok. Let's move on. I'm sorry, okay. guys. I didn't mean to change the topic. I'm so sorry. So where were we? We're missing one group and we're talking about 
um, ethics about being a manager? What is it? What is a managerial position and pros and cons? We're missing just one group. Anaselmi, Kenya, Roselena, and Walter. Okay. Who's talking? Okay, okay. you. Okay, Demi, <laughs> go ahead. I will try. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, in you know, we were talking before about um, managerial position, um, where it's like a kind of group, you know, of manager people that it's working um, in conjunto. How do you say that? Together. Together, just together. Okay. So people that is working together, you know, for setting goals um, to their teams as well, um, trying to reach every task that they are having to have like a high level of improvement in the company. Um, so as a part of that, we have some pros and cons. Um, for example, I would say one of the cons that they have, I was taking notes here. Um, ya me with my classmates, it's that um, the managers are not having like in a specific is, is schedule. Uh, for example, I was having a manager that I was always like, uh, you know, telling him, um, sorry, can you help me? I'm having a problem with this. And he was like 24 seven there. So they are not having in a specific is schedule. Um, as well, they have like a big pressure. Um, over them because they are having, uh, if there is not a task that it's being completed by their team, they need to, you know, like talk, talk to the, I don't know, maybe with the account manager or uh -huh. it could be with their president, um, those kind of things. So always it's like they're having some kind of pressure that, <laughs> that I wouldn't like to, to, um, to ex to have experience with, um, I don't know what you think about that, and that's tell me. <laughs> have, wait, I just wanted to mention that you okay. you were trying to say some words. They need to be on top. They need to be on top of things twenty four seven. They mm -hmm. are the problem solvers. Mm -hmm. They okay. are the problem the problem solvers. I agree with you on that, and totally yes. I mean. <laughs> yep, that's yeah. Yep. Well, well mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Yes, the the good pro, the one pro teacher that the managerial position has a higher level of the authority, but uh, the level of responsibility is according with that. Mm -hmm. because according the, to the position yes according to the position mm -hmm. the all decision of the uh, managerial posi uh, position has a specific consequences and the result is respond the, the managerial position has the final responsible about the result because the structure is that. Um, and the other point uh, is difficult to get a good balance between the personal personal life and per in the job life or work. For life, because the uh, Kenny say that the a schedule is not defined in, the, in that position. Most part of seven, the times, yes, most part of the times is not defined. Seven days, 24 hours. <laughs> seven, 24 seven, yeah. But the pro, in general, the, the level of the economic benefits, mm -hmm. they are good. Most part of the times. Yeah. <laughs> But totally. The level of the stress. The level of uh, the stress level. Stress, the stress level is higher, teacher. Totally. Yeah. 
totally. I, <laughs> I know someone, well, and here we go. So great job. Thank you everybody uh, for taking the time to study this little part of the class. Being a manager is not easy. We all agree with that. You don't have a life. Mm, not all of the times. I read a book. I read a book, Tragues de Sapo. I think I, I told you that, eat that frog. And this book was thought by Brian Tracy basically for managerial positions. Because when you're a manager, if you are an organized person, if you're disciplined, man, you're fine. It's your perfect fit to be a manager. If you're organized and if you are disciplined, discipline in what? To recognize what things you have to do first, second, third, you know, that's all. The that's important it, uh, identify what, uh, what thing is important and what thing is urgent. Prioritize, yes. Priority, yes. Yes. Priority. I agree with you, teacher, but the specific situation uh, requires the fast, fast action. Some some situations require fast action, yes. Yes. But still, and is that that's the right moment when you prove how good you are. Problem yes. solving, problem solving demands a lot of um, thinking for regular people, but there's yeah. people, there are special people. And I will say this, women, women as managers, they're amazing. You're amazing if you're, because women are more organized than men. That's for sure. Most Not only that, time, teacher, most part of the, time, the but, skill for multitasking too. Now, this multitasking mm -hmm. technique, this multitasking uh, skill that women possess doesn't reflect just physically, guys. Pay attention. This is not just physically. This is consciously. Women are able to think about multiple things at the same time and consider m more factors than men. It's really rare you know it's weird to find a man who is capable of thinking or consider everything in one thought i i was very close to that but i i always admit it i didn't know how my boss used to do things you know because she was amazing i mean we used to get scared we were 12 managers 12 managers each one of us had under under its control about 17 teachers. Man, but every time we used to hear that she was coming to check the goals of the week or the month, we were like, uh oh, we're in trouble, man. <laughs> so it was funny, but at the same time it was amazing because I learned a lot from her. Well, well, uh, so being a manager, difficult, but at the same time, very gratifying. I never thought yeah. about I never thought about the money. It was over two thousand dollars a month, but I never never thought about the money. I care I care about the benefit of learning on that position um, because I had to. I mean, when you are and this is the point when you grow in a company, you grow in a company. If you are not prepared, don't worry. You can prepare yourself. But if you're not prepared, it's going to be harder for you to prepare. Now, the good thing is that if you are confident, if you believe in yourself, if you have a good self-esteem, somebody translate what is self-esteem? Self-esteem. Self-esteem. Uh -huh. self Hello? Self steam. Self-esteem. Hmm? Autoestima. Autoestima, you got it. If you have self-esteem, you are capable of reaching any goal. So if they promote you, how do you say promover? If they promote you in your company and you are not prepared and they give you the opportunity and you prepare yourself reading books, 
okay? Talking, yeah. talking to successful people and you become disciplined like this, you are all set and you are better sometimes than people that have been on that position for many years. Why? Because you get the knowledge fresh right now. And that person maybe is on the position for, has been on the position for five years. They already forgot about many things, you know, and you're in a new guy with fresh knowledge. So think about it if you are, have the opportunity. So from my point, that's what I can transmit to you about being a manager. It is a beautiful experience and it's good. Let's go with a quick exercise that Carlita loves. I'm just gonna show six phrases on your screen right now. And I want you to simply translate them to English, shall we? Yay, okay, good. Let me do this right here. Okay, there we go. So it's just six phrases. I, I'll try to do this bigger. Yep, can you see? Yeah. Okay, try to make it natural, you know. Hold on, let me do it again. There you go. Okay. I... Uh, no, I just said your name. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying, yeah, vamos a hacer algo que a Carlita le encanta. So let's do it. Let's uh... translate <laughs> on your notebook, on your notebook or your workbook. Just go ahead and take notes of these phrases in English. Translate to English. Lo más cercano al idioma natural, o sea. Okay, try it. Perdón por el grito anteriormente, pero todavía se había preocupado. Y sí, anda caminando. Mientras que están pensando, una pista que les quiero dar es, recuerden que no es textual lo que van a traducir. Por ejemplo, la primera oración no empieza con tenía. Right? Right. <laughs> okay, think about it. I have ten... No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> it's not I had 10. Usually. Usually. I have a uh, translation teacher. I used to have. Wait, wait, finish the six. Come on. I'm going to give you six minutes. I'm going to give you six minutes and then we put everything together.
Are you ready? Okay, now I would like to, I don't know, Gabriela is very quiet lately. Um, Rosalena, you're very quiet tonight. What's going on? Is everything all right? I'm tired, sir. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday was me, now it's you. I understand, don't worry. <laughs> okay, let me go with Gabriela Alejandra González. Number one, tenía 10 empleados bajo mi cargo. Mm. Mm. I think if I have 10 employees under my chair. Chair. Okay, that's too literal, you know, like from Spanish to English. Very textual, I don't know how to say it. That's literal, literal, that's the word. So. How could you do this more native, more natural? I have 10 employees in my chair. My charge? Mm. In my manage? Mm. Hmm. How do you say bajo mi cargo? I'm charging with my responsibility. Position. Hmm. You give up? Maybe. My position, maybe. Do you give up? <laughs> Nobody else. Walter, you're very quiet. Wendy, you're not participating. Wilfredo, your camera is off. Nelson, where's Kenya? Okay, what do you um, think? <clears throat> I, I'm hearing you. I listen to you, but I I I just receiving my class in my jar because I feel so tired. Oh, okay. But I, <laughs> I so let, estoy, let, estoy. Uh -huh. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> You're very tired. That, that's okay. Don't worry. So I had uh, I had ten employees okay. under my charge. Don't worry, but I I I can participate. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. If you say, when I was manager, I have 10 people with me. Mm, 
why young ten people working to me. Yeah. It's more, but it's more let's let's think about it. Let's think about it. What is the main verb here? I have. have. Really? Hmm. I was in charge of Jenna, please. <laughs> think well, out of out of the yeah. box. Out of the box. I was in charge of ten employees. Mm -hmm. I use I... Uh -huh. Yes, I was. Okay. Yep. Now why uh -huh. does this why does this happen? Ocurre porque no estamos pensando de otra manera en español. Ojo, eh. Ojo, les he dicho, busquen otra manera de decir las cosas incluso en español. Yo estaba. ¿Sí? Estaba en mi cargo. Yo estaba a cargo de 10 de de empleados. Así lo tradujese si fuese en inglés al español. Y les dije, tenía 10 empleados en mi cargo. Uh, hay mil maneras de decir eso, ¿no? Ok. Think about this for the next examples. Let's say yo era responsable del cumplimiento de metas en, de la sucursal. What? Everybody. I was responsible. I was, I was responsible. For complaining. About, for compliance. About compliance. Wait, for, for or compliance. about? For me, it's for the compliance. For compliance. Wait. For the compliance of goals in the branch. <laughs> okay. Out of, out of the box. Oh, reach? What? What's wrong with reach? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's wrong with reach? Somebody said reach. I was responsible for complaining. Complaining, think out of the box. You did, you just did. I was responsible for reaching. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Reaching the goals. Oh my God. The goals. Wait. Can we say like uh, the the branch goals? Yeah, totally. I was responsible for the branch goals, for reaching the branch goals. That's better. But it's good compliance. Compliance. That's that's doesn't sound like a verb actually. I've never I've never heard that verb being used that way. I don't know. I've never heard it being used that way. I was responsible for reaching the branch goals, achieving, reaching, achieving. Yes, achieving. yes but the complaints. Yes. Complaining. Uh, complaining, yes. Compliment, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's grammatically it is correct, but it doesn't sound like. But in, in my case, teacher, is mm -hmm. commonly used in the in the office, really, the very complaint. Yeah, yeah. It's hmm. very it's very common related to the complaint, the the training complaint, the completing the complaint, completing or complaining, complaining. Compl complaining with the goals. Yeah, complaining with the rules. Yeah, terms. yeah, the totally. laws, the requirements. Yeah, got it. Okay. Good, then yes, you can do it. Usualmente alcanzábamos y superábamos las metas. Usually reach the goals. Come on, Rosalina. Huh? Usually reach the goal. Usually reach the goals. And um, oh, we reach. We reach the goals. Certain... Usually reach the goals and <gasps> superábamos. But the pass of the, the reach, reached, reached. Okay. 
was usually we risked it. Oh, we, oui. okay. We risked it. <laughs> subject, subject. <laughs> then you need a frequency <laughs> adverb. We usually reached the goals. The goals. Mm -hmm. and... You say superabamos. Oh my God. Overcome. Yeah. Overcome? Overcome. Okay. Usually, we usually reached uh, and overcome the goals. the goals. The goals. Another way of saying overcome? A synonym? Can we say break? No, no. Get over. Come through. Go over. Come through. Um, through. Overpass. Surpass. Overpass. Overpass. Mm. No. Break. Uh -huh. Overpass. Oh, oh, Overcome. Surpass. Pass. Get over. Break. Conquer. Oh, oh, Conquer. Out, outreach. Outreach. That's a good one. Outreach. Yeah. Overtake. That's a common one as well. Exceed. That's the most common one. Exceed. Okay. But exceed is, is like, wow. By a big percentage. You could also say exceed. Exceed, yes. I get it right. It's yeah. more than 100%. Over the 100% is like 200%. Okay. El trabajo es muy exigente. The word is very exigent. <laughs> okay, the work is oh, the very. Ah, the job. Okay. The job. <laughs> what job you do. Very... Remember, job is what you do, work is the place, the activity itself. The job is it's very demanding. Excellent. Demanding. demanding. Yeah. That sounds better. And the job is very demanding. Exigent exists in English or no? It's exigent. Not like... I never use it. For me, the demanding is the better, but. Yeah, yeah. Exigent. Uh, it, it does exists. exist, but as an adjective. As an adjective, it's a very exigent job. The job is very demanding. Uh, I don't know. It's a very demanding, it's, it's very a very, demanding. it's a very, it's a very exigent job. Yeah, sounds weird. Yeah, the job is very demanding. Same thing. Es un trabajo a tiempo completo. Es un trabajo a tiempo completo. It's a full-time work. It's, it's a, a full-time full -time time job. job. It's a we continue, full -time we continue with job. Yeah, it's a full-time mm -hmm. job. It's a full-time job. Now, be careful, don't do this. Is a full-time job? No, 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 the subject. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a full-time full job. job. Another way of saying this? Full-time job. Carla, where are you? It's a full-time job. It's a job for full-time? It's not mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. You said it before, and I sell me. Okay. Full-time job. A 24 7 job. My job is 24 7. It's a 24 7 job. Okay. Muchas veces debía trabajar horas extra y eso es mal visto en gerencia. <laughs> you were not doing this, Roselena. Uh -huh. You're getting surprised that you were not doing it. Come on. Uh -huh. Many times. Many times mm -hmm. I must. I must. No. Um, I have to work. Times. I have to work. I have to work over, over time. time. Over time. Okay. Many times I had to work over, over time. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is. Mm -hmm. And that it's. From from new 
<laughs> Good. There you go. New verb. It's a phrasal verb actually frowned upon. Great job, Carla. And that is, it's a difficult, um, not very common. Frown. Frown, frowned upon. Mal visto, frown upon. That's frown upon in management. That was my point for you to learn a new phrasal verb. Many times I had to work overtime and that is frown upon in management. It's frown, frown upon, upon means a bear teacher. Wrong. A phrasal. Phrasal verb. Yes, phrasal verb. Which, which means is, mal visto. Y mal visto is, is bear. Yo mal visto, tu mal visto. No, All right. No, right. Okay. <laughs> No, it's it's, 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 it's my but, question because for me, I mean, if it's not, it's not there, but... no, 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 frown, frown by itself. Hold on, frown, frown, hold on, bro, frown, frown. You cannot put it, put it separated upon. I see what's the problem here, yeah. Frown. Okay, the the verb frown without ed, f r o w n, is this. Fruncir el seño. Just the word f r o w n. That's a verb. Okay, and it means fruncir el seño. Okay. Now, as a phrasal verb, if you add upon is to do the gesture to someone else, to frown upon someone. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, yeah. So it's, yeah, it is a verb. Yep. Yeah. Um, necesito que me explique algo que, que yo siempre tengo como duda cuando agregamos el up um, a algún una palabra, un verbo, no sé, que, ¿cuál es la, como la, eh, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo ¿La se regla? Dice? Ajá, ¿cuál es la regla? Ajá, o, o ¿cuál es la, eh, cómo se dice? El, el cambio que sufre esa, eh, 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 esa palabra con esa expresión. Les envié un libro sobre phrasal verbs, pero lo puedo volver a hacer. Ahora, no existe una regla, algo escrito en piedra, sobre la gramática de la creación de los, de los verbos frasales, Carla. La mayoría sí cambian el contexto. Eh, las preposiciones son muchas. Sí, y pues eh, son muy utilizados por los americanos. Uh -huh. um, how do you say quedarse sin gasolina? A ver. How do you say quedarse sin gasolina? R run out of gas. Run, run, run out. Run, run out of gas. Correr. Out, run. afuera. Run out of gas. Run out of, to run out of something. Tiene que ir la preposición al final también, off. Run out of. When you say. Man, I'm, I'm running out of money and tomorrow is payday. Thank God. Ah, I'm running out uh -huh. of gas. Uh-huh. Rosalena? When, when, I remember one, when, and for example, I remember when the, the telephone doesn't work, you fall further. You got a what? When a telephone is, it doesn't it's, work. It's broken, uh-huh. Yeah, it's out of order. It's out of order. Out of order, out of order. Out of out order. order. Uh -huh. Yeah, the telephone, the the, the yeah. bathroom, mm -hmm. toilet, you know, is broken. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's out of order. Out of order, and you go out like. Out of order, uh -huh. out of order. <laughs> right? It's, in, it's a mess. That's the, the context is a mess. And to run out of something is 
go without that thing. Quedarse sin eso. It's really odd. It's really odd. Wake up. Stand up. Of course, you cannot stand down, right? <laughs> <laughs> stand on. Stand on your feet. Y sí, Carla, hay yeah, muchos um, verbos frasales. Honestamente, la mejor manera, y como yo he aprendido, los que me he aprendido, eh, pues poniéndolos en contexto, como siempre. Ponerlos okay. en contexto, ver muchos ejemplos, hacer ejemplos gramaticales con ellos y agarrarlos y empezar positivo, negativo, pregunta. So it works. I'll send you the... the the book in a minute when we are done with the class, okay? Okay, and I had something ready for this, but we're gonna start watching. Um, oh, you know what? There's still one activity that we have to go through. Let me see. Um, okay, so continuing with ethics at work. First of all, what are ethics? We kind of described it before. Just a minute. Ethics, an area of study that deals with ideas about what is good or bad. Yeah, just with that little part, I think it's clear. Okay, an area of study that deals with ideas about what is good and bad behavior and with moral duty and obligation. And again, that's an area of study, you're not out of study, right? Okay, second definition, the rules and principles that define right and wrong conduct, that's ethics. And the last definition, it refers to well-funded standards of right and wrong that prescribe what humans ought to do, ought to do, ought to do. That's a model, remember, how to do. What you gotta do. Okay, what you ought to do. So what is good and what is bad in your job, in your life, that's ethics. That's the negative thing. Uh, I mean, the, the opposite, the opposite of ethics, unethical. Something When something is not unethical, you don't want to do it. Okay. And as we have discussed, so as a manager, this is very important because you have to, for example, Edwin was talking about letting go people. If your boss tells you, hey, you know what? You have to let go and sell me. And you know that Anna Selmy has five children and only, and she's a single mother. I mean, would you let her go? Would you let her go? Oh, oh, no, right? Okay, so for example, <laughs> can it's like, oh no, this guy continues singing. Oh my God, stop singing, teacher, please. Okay, managerial ethics. So talking about management, ethics is the ethical treatment of employees. Stockholders, what's stockholders? Really quick, what's stockholders? The owner of the company. The owners. Owners yeah. of owner the company. Owners. Yeah. Why stockholders? What's the right translation of this word? Stockholders. Accionistas. Accionistas. Love that word. Thank you very much. Owners and the public by a company. So to treat everybody equally with ethics. Okay, again, it's a study of standards of business behavior which promote human welfare. What is welfare? No idea? Human welfare and the good. Bienestar, welfare. Okay, human welfare and the good. Ethics in the workplaces helps ensure that when leaders and managers are struggling, what's struggling? What's struggling? What's the struggle? There is no. Luchando. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. La lucha, that is the closest translation of that word, but there is no translation to Spanish of struggling. I mean, literally, you cannot like define it by itself. But yeah, when leaders and managers are struggling in times of crisis and confusion, they retain a strong moral compass. So your principles, your values as a person, in the end, is what the company lays on when hard time comes, when difficult times come at the company, what must people do? What regular employees do when the company is bouncing? For example, during COVID, during COVID guys, what happened with so many companies? What do you think the managers did? I remember they started to fire people. That's one of the, of the biggest things that happened. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, right? They fired some managers. Mm -hmm. Or some managers quit. A lot of people actually left their jobs. They didn't want to be working in a, you know, in an enclosed in place, you know, like call centers, for example. They had to take their people out, send them to work home because they couldn't be together, right? So, but the other companies, teachers during the pandemic, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. um, they respect the job of the employees mm -hmm. during the period, the during the, the pandemic close, period, the um, the close the operation. The how, how how did we call it the uh, quarantine, right? Quarantine. quarantine. Yes, the period of quarantine. Mm -hmm. And in general, it was good because the image of the company, the image, image of the company, yes, mm -hmm. image of the company was good. Yeah, it was a yes, rose. higher. It's higher because the employees feel felt a, mm -hmm. felt felt more a, appraised. More a, yes. Appreciate and appreciate com appreciate and comprometidos is manage a uh, engaged engaged yes engaged <laughs> with the company yes now engaged with the good company. point Anaselmi thank you thank you that's a great point engaging people to your company that's magic if you are capable of making employees it feel engaged. It doesn't have a price teacher. Actually, yeah, they, say that's invaluable. invaluable. That's invaluable. That's invaluable. Yes. yes, it's priceless. It's priceless. Okay, yeah. So that's very important. Managerial ethics is a set of principles and rules dictated by upper management that define what are right and what what is right and what is wrong. In an organization, it is the guideline that helps direct a lower manager's decisions in the scope of his or her job. When a conflict or value is presented, now this is what you were mentioning. Um, when a conflict is presented, can you resolve it really quick? As a manager, I had to take a decision sometimes you know, when there was a conflict between two employees, for example, what should I do? The first thing that I that I used to set my feet on, the first thing that I used to set my feet and my mind on was, is this in my scope? Is this within my scope? In other words, is it my responsibility to do this or should I contact a lawyer or should I contact my boss, you know, and so on. So who is going to be affected by my decision? That's very important. That's the way you resolve um, conflicts in a quick manner. And we will see that tomorrow. I will explain you what I have learned 
because it's not that I'm going to teach you how to do something. That will be a, my mistake. If I try to teach you how to be a manager or how to manage your personal, that will be wrong. This is an English class. I could do that, but no, this is an English class. So I will give you my perspective of things. That's very important for me to clear this out. And, and I can, I don't know, transmit, share with you what I have learned. Um, there's a technique called problem solving technique. It's a problem solving technique. It's just four steps that you need to follow when you need to take a decision. Really quick, really quick, who is going to be affected and you know, what's the main problem? Just thinking about a problem, you have to define what is the problem? What is the problem? first before you take a decision and so on. So we will see this uh, tomorrow. I'll send you this presentation so you can see it a little bit and we finish it tomorrow. Okay. Um, hoy es jueves 27 de octubre. Mañana es viernes. Por favor, no falten. Se lo suplico. Es viernes, yo no sé, pero... Y el día de pago para muchos. Pero por favor, comportémonos. Ahí después de la clase, Por favor. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I was yesterday with Nelson. Yeah. Pamela is not here. Oh, guess what? Rosalena. Yay. <laughs> the beers. Come on, Walter. <laughs> okay, teacher. Cheers. Okay. So I'm staying with Rosalena. I'll, I'll give you. I want to show you something uh, because of the inconvenience we had today. So sorry. Let me show you my appreciation. Lo siento de verdad que se me se me escapó todo lo que ocurrió. Me siento un poco mal, pero igual vea son cosas que ocurren. Um, sorry. Okay. It's an emergency. Yeah, I know it was an emergency. <laughs> he, he's looking for a girlfriend. Yeah, with a tie. There yeah, that, that, that's Max. Um, I love this guy. You have no idea. He's so handsome. He's big. It's really big. I, I think when you think uh, when you're talking about Max, I'm uh -huh. thinking of a little puppy. He's not a little puppy. He's three years already. Look at his eyes. I just love his eyes. And that's the way. I mean, I is tener un perro es tener un hijo, señores. Así de caro. So, sí, de verdad. That's the way I don't have it. That's why, that's why you don't have it. Yeah, no se imaginan la cantidad have. de pelo y problemas que causan los problemas, los pelos. But anyways, <laughs> and <laughs> le debo a Rosalena, the long and winding road, the Beatles. Long and winding road. That, that's why I was thinking, many times I've been alone and many times I've cried. Anyway, you'll never know. Okay. Sorry, guys. Gracias por soportarme una clase más. Mañana les veo a las ocho en punto. Estudien. Les espero que les haya gustado el topic. El, el tema, yo siempre trato de abordar cierto eh, vocabulario nuevo de relacionado al tema. Y mañana vamos a practicar más. Okay. So, good night. Good fight. I'm staying with Rosalena. Ada Patricia Linares Caldames. Presentation. Good night. Good night. Adrián Estefani Martínez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Here. Susana. Present. Thank you. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Bye. Bye. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera.
he left. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, 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 lady. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Fine. <laughs> no, fine, yeah. Really. Good. Really? Okay. Glad yes. to hear that. Just tired. Yes, just tired. You yeah. know what? Go to the beach on the weekend <laughs> and get a get a shrimp cocktail. Oh yes, yes. With yeah. pink sauce, with pink sauce. Yeah, it would be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just you and yourself. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I don't know. That's what I will do if I were you. I, I, I'm actually thinking about it. I should do that. On Sunday, I have to take Max and and another dog to the Chivo Pet, and but that's in the afternoon. I'm thinking that I should go to the beach on, on the in the morning. I don't know. Yeah, it will be a, a good experience. Uh, yeah, a good experience, yes. What are your hobbies? What do you typically do to entertain yourself? I really I, I don't have hobbies. Um maybe watch some some series on TV. Um, I I I don't I don't watch much TV. Hmm. Yeah. Is that lately or? I prefer doing something at home. Uh, maybe uh, rest for take a nap mm. because sometimes I feel tired and, mm. and take a I take a little nap. Then I I watch. Uh, some series and um, I like to stay at home I like I enjoy I don't remember who said that but lately I'm thinking a lot about this phrase don't follow your body uh, wishes don't follow your, bo your body wishes the more you grow the more it's going to demand of yourself so it's like if you follow what your body is telling you, you're oh, you're wrong. Yeah. And I'm thinking about this because I'm going down, Rosalina. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, but every day I feel like more and more tired. I feel heavier, even though I'm on a diet. When I finish the call center job, I go and heat up my food because I'm alone at home. And after eating, no matter what I'm doing, if I am sitting, I go like, <laughs> yes, me too. And I'm like, what? What's wrong, right? I mean, I wasn't this way last year. It's really odd. The thing is that I, I thought about that that saying, you know, and it's normal because you're getting older and yes. your body your body wants to take you to the ground. <laughs> yeah. For example, today I feel like I feel like that. I was sitting here and I feel that my my eye closed. And that's the way I turn off the camera and I get up. <laughs> you got up. You were you got up. Yeah. You because... felt you felt your eyes yeah. closing. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I feel when I I I'm I'm sitting, I feel relaxed in my body. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly. I I just went and took the kids out of school earlier today because they wanted me to to help them with studying for their English exam tomorrow, their final test of English. And they are on seventh, fourth, and first grades. You know, it's not a big deal. It's just a birth to be. And wait, wait a moment, teacher. Wait a moment. Sure, I sure. connect my computer. Okay. Yes. Thanks, God. The the scholar 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 year scholar. Oh yeah. No, no, no. The, yeah, the school the school year. The school the school year. Is going to finish. <laughs> Do you have any kids at school? Yeah. Oh, how, yeah. how old? How old is he or she? My 
my daughter this oh. year's senior. <gasps> no she's way. Yeah, she's going to graduate on December. Oh. Yeah. How do you how do you feel? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, because after after December, she goes like, it's on your own. Bye bye. <laughs> yes. Get I'm a job. Excited. And my my little boy is in sixth grade. What really? Yeah, yeah. He's 13. Oh my god. Yes. And what I was about to tell you is that my my eldest son, you know, he's on seventh grade and he's he's studying can, can't, um, and adjectives, opposite adjectives. So I was helping him, and as I was helping him, he was like, Dad. Like, sorry, I don't know what's going on with me. And he, he he said, okay, you know what? Stand up, let's do five more adjectives and you help me and then you just go to sleep for 20 minutes. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm not eating bread. I, I'm concerned actually on Monday, I'm getting the results of my tests because I'm not get, I'm not eating bread. I'm, I have reduced the sugar and the cigarettes. You know, I have reduced everything really low. The smoke. Yeah, I'm still smoking. Really? I really hate <laughs> it. <laughs> I know. I was able to stop it for two months, and that's it. Really? Just two months. Yeah, but then my cousin passed away, and yeah. I mean, I had yeah. I had stopped smoking, you know, but during the the watch over the funeral, I was like, I have to. Do barra. I don't know how to say that. You know, I have to assist <laughs> my 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 brother-in-law because he was really bad at me, of course. And so I I just I I was not going to be smoking his air, you know. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't make sense. So uh, <laughs> it came back, and I, and my father, my father stopped smoking, and like seven or ten years ago. But he went to a rehab. He went to a rehab really? place. Uh huh. Crea. Oh my god. Yeah, my dad was in drugs, but he left them like no, it's not seven. It was like 10, 15 years ago. I don't know. The thing is that he quit smoking, and 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 every time he told me, if you smoke on the funeral, you will go back. And I'm like, no. <laughs> He was right. Oh my God. It's so yeah, difficult. it's so difficult to stop it. But oh I really, God. I have to. I mean, Rosalina, I'm 40 now. <laughs> and I, I swore, I swore that whenever I turned 40, I was going to have the six pack and I was going to be a very handsome old man. But mm, no. <laughs> I have the raw material. I have the raw material. <laughs> you just have to work out and that's it. <laughs> oh my god oh my the, god so what about you what about you what are your projects what are you expecting <gasps> oh, i need i need to learn so much i'm, I'm learning i'm i'm conscient conscient Can conscious? I say conscious i'm conscious yeah, i'm conscious but i need to i need practice. to practice this yes i need to practice i listen to music in english every day I am I'm working and I with my with my ear, earphones, earphones and I was listening to music, listening to music and songs, some son of lyrics. Oh yeah, some letters I, I know very well, but there's another song. What? And I try to eighties, eighties, seventies. Yes, I try to understand. Go easy, go easy. I, or maybe you already know only you. The platters, only yeah, you. Yeah, um, I like it. Dun, dun. Stand by me. Stand by me. The, these are easy songs. Uh, Journey. Yes. You can move to Journey. Uh, then Phil Collins. Yeah, I hear. Chicago, I right? Chicago, yes. Hard, um, hard to say. I'm sorry. Yeah, today I was listening. <laughs> but Peter Sarah, Peter Sarah goes in front of the of the screen. Look at his lips when he when he moves his mouth on that video. You may you may yeah. learn the articulation yeah. of the words he say. I know, it's, I know many 
many many songs i know your desperation the glory of love. In my yeah. Life. yeah tears for fears i like it i can't understand <laughs> some uh, words yeah everybody wants to rule the world what so yeah could... that, that's good yeah. that's good mm -hmm. he, head over heels head over head heels, over heels. Mm -hmm. I like I like Rose Stewart. Do you think I'm sexy? I'm sexy. <laughs> what, what is that? What is it? If, oh, if you want my body. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. I like Let it. Me know. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's Kiss, right? No, no. Rose Stewart. Rose Stewart. Rose Stewart. Yes, yeah. Rose Stewart. Wow, passion. <laughs> I Actually, know. Yes. Man, I, I that, like, that's amazing. I like Super Trump. The logical song. When I was so singing. Oh, there are so many adjectives. So many adjectives on, on, on that song, yeah? yeah. Yes, I like yeah. it. I got a pocket mm -hmm. full of love. Mm -hmm. And those were good times. Very good times. Yes. I feel nostalgic lately. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not that way, you know. <laughs> but I don't know why. I feel nostalgic about my childhood and everything. And there, the music. There are, there, are, there are coming days, for example, on December. Uh, my my father uh, passed away on December in 2020. Mm -hmm. He was suddenly have a heart attack. And he had he a heart died. attack? Yeah, he died. And he he died. Didn't, you didn't know that he was bad from his no, heart? No, it was suddenly. It was a sudden thing. Yeah, suddenly. suddenly, suddenly in a day. Uh, it, it was on December. The next December we're going to feel sad. Was he in the was he on the street like alone or yeah, no, on the street. By himself. He was walking. Yeah, he was walking. How did you realize that it happened? Somebody called you or yeah, my daughter called me. My grand my grandpa is dead. What? Yeah, my grandpa is dead. And I was in shock. I uh, I was working. I was I was working. What? I I don't cry. You didn't cry? I didn't cry. You couldn't I, react. You couldn't react. I couldn't react. Yes, I couldn't react. That's so difficult. That happened to me as well. That happened. Yeah, it's it's so difficult. It's yeah, so but difficult. but then when you realize it's harder. I mean, you start. You can yeah. stop. You can control your feelings. You can stop crying. It's, it's so when the hard. Time, when the time pass, I see on the street uh, people uh, like my father uh, be in the back, and I say, "It's my father." <laughs> yeah, it's but so they remind you. So <laughs> yeah, it looks difficult. I love talking to you. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know there's some more time. Hey, thank yeah. you. Thank you. This is the best thing you can do. Practice. Just yes. like that. Get someone to talk to more often. And that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to try more. Yeah, I don't want to be I don't want to see you sad, okay? And if you're tired, okay. get yeah. some rest. Follow my advice. Go to the beach on Sunday or Saturday, you know, have some really? ceviche. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Good night, Rosalina. Take okay, care. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.